today on Nostalgia Hit, we look back at the cast of the 1976 science fiction action film, Logan's Run. We'll revisit the actors and update them as of 2023. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for your daily dose of nostalgia. Richard Jordan played Francis. In 1976, Jordan was 38 years old. He was born on July 19, 1937. He died from a brain tumor on August 30, 1993. He was 56 years of age. Jordan, whose career began as a stage actor, appeared in numerous Broadway and off-Broadway productions before venturing into television and film. He has 56 acting credits from appearances in roles which include The Hunt for Red October, Gettysburg, and the TV miniseries Captains and the Kings, for which he won a Golden Globe and was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award. Farrah Fawcett played Holly. In 1976, Fawcett was 29 years old. She was born on February 2, 1947. She died from cancer on June 25, 2009. She was 62 years of age. Fawcett's acting career began with appearances in television commercials before transitioning to TV and film roles. Some of her most notable roles were in shows such as The Burning Bed, Extremities, and as is Jill Munro in the action-adventure TV series Charlie's Angels. She was a multi-award winner and was also nominated for six Golden Globes and four Primetime Emmy Awards. Gary Morgan played Billy. In 1976, Morgan was 26 years old. He was born on January 2, 1950, and is now 73 years of age. Morgan is an actor, stunt coordinator, and stuntman who has 65 acting credits from television and film appearances, which include Bonanza, Pete's Dragon, and The Amanda Show. As a stuntman, he has worked on numerous films such as The Golden Child, Batman Forever, and The Mask of Zorro. Michael Anderson Jr. played Doc. In 1976, Anderson was 32 years old. He was born on August 6, 1943, and is now 79 years of age. Anderson has appeared in over 80 film and television roles, some of the most notable being The Sundowners, The Sons of Katie Elder, and the Western series The Monroes, where he played Clayt Monroe in 26 episodes. He is from a theatrical family, his stepsister being actor and producer Lori Holden, and his father was Michael Anderson, who directed Logan's Run. Ashley Cox played Timid Girl. In 1976, Cox was 19 years old. She was born on November 15, 1956, and is now 66 years of age. Cox was also a Playboy model who appeared in a handful of film and TV roles, some of the most notable being Drive In, The Dukes of Hazard, and Night Shift. She was Playmate of the Month in December 1977 for Playboy magazine and was a former girlfriend of Hugh Hefner. Roscoe Lee Brown played Box. In 1976, Brown was 51 years old. He was born on May 2, 1922. He died from stomach cancer on April 11, 2007. He was 84 years of age. Brown, a multi-award winning actor of stage and screen, appeared in almost 130 television and film roles, some of which include Barney Miller, the Spider-Man TV series, and Soap, where he played Saunders in 16 episodes. He was also well known for his narration on numerous films and TV shows, such as Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures, Babe, and Garfield 2. Michelle Stacy played Mary. In 1976, Stacy was 8 years old. She was born on February 22, 1968, and is now 55 years of age. Stacy made appearances in 33 film and television roles, some of which include Demon Seed, The Young Pioneers, and as the voice of Penny in the animated Disney movie The Rescuers. She quit acting in 1980 at the age of 12, and as of 2023, there is no information available about her since she left show business. Peter Ustinov played Old Man. In 1976, Ustinov was 55 years old. He was born on April 16, 1921. He died of heart failure on March 28, 2004. He was 82 years of age. Multi-award winning, Ustinov was also a writer, director and raconteur. His career spanned more than six decades and he made appearances in over 100 film and television roles, some of which include Quo Vadis, Death on the Nile, and Lorenzo's Oil. 
He was an accomplished stage actor who wrote numerous plays, short stories, and novels and was fluent in five languages. Laura Lindsay played the woman runner. In 1976, Lindsay was 34 years old. She was born on January 1, 1942, and is now 81 years of age. Lindsay has seven acting credits from TV and film roles, with Logan's Run being her final film appearance. Prior to acting, she worked in TV commercials, and as a child, she was an ice skater who went on to be a member of the traveling theatrical entertainment show, The Ice Capades. Randolph Roberts played Second Sanctuary Man. In 1976, Roberts was 28 years old. He was born on October 5, 1947, and is now 75 years of age. Roberts has 15 acting credits from film and TV roles, which include Wicked Wicked, Gunsmoke, and the sitcom Happy Days, where he played Chuck Cunningham in two episodes. Most of his on-screen roles were minor, and he stepped away from acting in the late 80s to become an education supervisor. Camilla Carr played Sanctuary Woman. In 1976, Carr was 34 years old. She was born on August 31, 1942, and is now 80 years of age. Carr, who is also a writer, has appeared in 14 film and television roles, some of which include A Bullet for Pretty Boy, Don't Look in the Basement, and Falcon Crest. She has received multiple awards for her work as a playwright, novelist, and screenwriter, and is a three-time winner of the Hollywood Drama Log Award. Jenny Agutter played Jessica. In 1976, Agutter was 23 years old. She was born on December 20, 1952 and is now 70 years of age. Award-winning actor Agutter, whose film career began at the age of 12, has gone on to make appearances in more than 115 film and television roles. Some of the most notable include The Railway Children, Walkabout, and An American Werewolf in London. She is also an accomplished stage actor, having appeared on Broadway and at the National Theatre in London. Michael York played Logan. In 1976, York was 34 years old. He was born on March 27, 1942, and is now 80 years of age. York is a double Primetime Emmy Award nominee, whose acting career began on stage. He has appeared in over 160 film and television roles, some of which include Cabaret, Murder on the Orient Express, and his Basil Exposition in the Austin Powers films. In 1996, he was awarded an OBE, an officer of the Order of the British Empire, for his services to drama. We're huge fans of sci-fi here at Nostalgia Hit. So, if you'd like us to cover any other sci-fi movies or TV shows, simply drop a comment below, letting us know which ones you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.